In this video, I want to take a look at two examples of solving separable differential equations, and we're going to find their general solutions. So I'm not given any initial condition or anything like that, any extra information. So when I integrate both sides of these equations, I'm going to end up with a plus C that I'm not going to be able to find a value for. So here's our first example, dy dx equals 3x squared over 4y. And this is a pretty basic example of our separable differential equations. Uh, because remember, to be separable, I need to be able to get my y terms with my dy on one side of the equation, with my x terms and my dx on the other side of the equation, so then I can integrate both sides of the equation and ultimately solve for y, hopefully, and write it in explicit form. So in this first example, it looks like I can just do cross products and set them equal to each other, and that will facilitate my separating the y's and the x's out. So 4y times dy, and that will be equivalent to 3x squared dx. Okay, so it looks like everything's separated out. I have my dy on my left, my dx on my right. So let's go ahead and integrate both sides of this equation. So to integrate the left side, I need to find the integral of 4y with respect to y, which is going to be 2y squared. And then I need to integrate on the right side 3x squared, which is just going to be x cubed plus c. And usually, anytime we integrate, right, we always put a plus C, but there's no reason to put a plus C on the left and a plus C on the right. So we just kind of sum it up and just put one plus C over here on the right whenever we do this X side. Okay, so now the goal is to kind of see if we can get this Y all by itself and write this final equation in explicit form. So let's start by dividing every single term by two and that'll give me y squared equals one half x cubed plus, well, it's a plus c, which is just a general constant divided by two, but a general constant divided by two is still just a general constant, so that's okay to do that. Okay, so we're right here, and sometimes we're okay with writing the answer this way. The y is not all by itself, but if we take the square root of both sides, we'll have the plus and minus to kind of contend with. So sometimes this is okay, or quite frankly, it really is okay just to put that plus minus, and then we have the one half x cubed plus c, and this solution is ac acceptable as well. So here's kind of how to find the general solution for a pretty straightforward separable differential equation. In this second example, we have another separable differential equation. We have y prime being divided by xy, and that equals 2. So probably the, the best thing we can do to start is to get this y prime into dy dx, and that'll kind of help us determine where things need to go. Well, we have a complex fraction here, but we'll see that the dy here is in the numerator of the numerator, so that's going to necessitate the y's being on the left side with the dy over here, which means I'll need to multiply both sides by dx in order to get the x terms kind of over on the right side, or to get that going anyway. So what this looks like now is dy over xy equals 2 dx. Well, okay, well, I have my dy with my y, but I kind of still have this little x guy over here. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x to get rid of that. So now when I put this all together, 1 over y dy equals, it looks like, 2x dx. So now I'm ready to integrate both sides of my equation, since I have my y terms with my dy, and that equals my x terms with my dx. Okay, so what is the integral of 1 over y with respect to y? Well, it'll be the natural log of the absolute value of y. And how about the integral of 2x with respect to x? Well, it'll be x squared plus c. And remember, we only need to write the plus c on one of these sides, so we typically just choose the right side to put it on. Okay, so if our goal is to write an equation here in explicit form, we kind of need to solve for this y. So it's you have the ln of y here, so let's go ahead and take each side of my equation and raise it as a power of e. 
So that means the ln and the e will cancel because they are inverses. So y equals e to the x squared plus c. Well, I want to show you a little trick you can do here with this plus c, since this whole thing is the exponent of e. Well, I have a little property here that says x to the m times x to the n equals x to the m plus n. Because remember, when you're multiplying like bases, you add their exponents, which means you can go backwards as well and kind of decompose a little bit. So if I have y equals e to the x squared, I can say it's being multiplied by e to the c, and that's where this addition came into play. And uh, what we did previously, uh, e to the c, well, this is just a constant. It's being raised to the power of a constant. So I can write this then as just c times e to the x squared, and this will be the general solution then for my original separable differential equation.